That looks right. Okay, hang on. And I hit the wrong button on the mic there. I think we're back on track, though. Hopefully you can hear me. I'll check on Discord in just one sec. I'm going to sit on the big, big, oh, cat bed. Uh, okay, let's see if that works. Whew. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, happy weekend to you. I know we wanted to do this uh, in the Christmas room, but I didn't have a chance to move the camera this morning. Now let's check on the... Let's see. Okay, everybody, uh, I guess everybody can hear me. And, okay, good, good, good. Well, uh, here we are, mailbag. Okay, big news. Uh, first off, I um, uh, um, almost said Squall and Wellingtons, but no, it's uh, this is, um, oh gosh, it's going to be one of those mornings. I'll get to that in a minute, but um, we've got the adoption <laughs> for uh, Farthing and Doubloons. This is Farthing, and I don't know where Doubloons is. Uh, and that adoption is today. They're going to go home. In fact, maybe Farthing should just go ahead and do a goodbye wave right here since she's being so in my lap. Bye, everybody. Okay. And when Dabloons, if Dabloons shows up, we can get her too. So they're going together. And uh, as far as I know, the adopter is not on our Discord. And um, I'll ask them, you know, while they're here. But, you know, they don't, they don't really have to. Um, so it's fine. Either way, I'm sure that we'll be able to keep in touch enough to know that they're doing well. Um, but I will try to, you know, put the pressure on just a little bit. Uh, I think that's the only big news. Uh, I mean, we had kittens this week, but you know that for sure. Uh, you can see them right there. They are uh, two days old now and uh, looking very healthy so far. I haven't weighed them yet this morning, but I will. Uh, they seem like they're all doing fine. That's definitely it then. We still need to find adopters uh, for Sprout and for Drizzle, the uh, the princess and the hunter I was calling them. And also for Till and Serenity, but I'm sure that'll happen in due time. Now, uh, as for mailbag, uh, I have a lot of things to do today, um, including the adoption. So we're going to have to cut today's mailbag off at 11, if not earlier. Uh, it'll depend. And uh, also, I, I literally didn't sleep last night. Um, it's neither here nor there, but uh, I just just so you know, you know, it's not like it's not like I just want to get out of here. I just I feel like I can't really do uh, mailbag the the right uh, way if if I'm not at all rested. So I'm gonna work on that at some point too. Um, and I still have to go pick up this weekend's mailbag. This is. A uh, mailbag that I picked up on Monday or Tuesday, so last weekend's mailbag, all of it. Um, I have to swing by there and pick up this week's mailbag, and I have to do it today. And I was going to do it before mailbag, uh, but DJ and I uh, need to pick up some things at the pharmacy, too, and it's not ready yet, and I thought just kill two birds with one stone. And now I'm realizing I'm going to be at the post office during a very busy time of the day, uh, but we'll get it done. And um, unless anything goes super wrong tonight, I think that I can say I, I want to get through all the mailbag this weekend. So assuming that I actually can get some sleep tonight, uh, that will be tomorrow that we will pick up all the rest of it. And I say just go as long as it takes. Um, fingers crossed that that's going to be an option. So, so that's the plan. We're going to do this for a little while today. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. There's a lot of really cool stuff in here, and I know you are too, and I really want to do it. Um, but but I don't I don't want anybody to uh, I don't know I don't I don't want the fact that I'm tired to to make it seem like you know I'm even just a tiny bit less grateful than I am so I would hate that um, yeah so we'll do what we can today we'll pick up the rest tomorrow and that's the plan uh, and then the adoption is supposed to be at one o'clock and it sounds like so far they're right on schedule so we'll see if that sticks though that's you know they're on the road now so you know it's a long drive. Um, Okay, now there are a whole bunch of letters. I'm going to try to keep things rolling a little bit, uh, despite what I just said about wanting to make sure that, you know, I give everything its proper due uh, respect. Um, you know, I think that the more that we can manage to cover today, the better off we all are. So, let's see. Oh, I thought I covered all these up, but somehow I already found one I missed. Oh yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of holiday cards. This one's super cute. We've got a an actual uh, regular snowman who is making a cat-shaped snowman with three cats helping out. 
And it says, caring, sharing, loving, laughing, wishing you holidays filled with everything and everyone you love. Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and all the faculty, NDT, <laughs> and students, may the season bring you a world of light, uh, comfort, and love. And that's love, SD Grady and Beta Cats. Thank you very much. It's a very sweet card, and I see uh, that is an, a yet another request to make Teaspoon faculty. Um, I know uh, everybody wants that, including DJ. I think we've talked about it quite a bit, though. Okay, uh, this is cute. This is uh, Christmas tree ornaments, and some of them are little gnomes and mushrooms and pine cones. Uh, so inside it says, may you have a holiday that's jolly, merry, and bright. Love, Jennifer. Oh, Jennifer, thank you. I, I like the little gnome ornaments. They're super cute with their beards. Um, thank you very much. Okay. This one has uh, their return uh, sticker, their address sticker. It says, Pause Chicago on it uh, that we have been to. Okay, uh, this is just a shiny holiday card with big old ornaments on it, or uh, snowflake ornaments, and it says, A little peace, a little wonder, a lot of joy to you and yours this holiday season. This one is from Lois C., uh, I think, and that is in Surprise, Arizona? Hmm, that's a cool name for a place to live. I think we've heard from you before because I remember um, that something... Hmm. <laughs> Thank you for the card. It is really pretty. Uh, this one's sealed with a Christmas tree and lots of presents. Hi. Oh, you want to help with this one? Okay. Sprout is such a little sweetheart. Oh, it's sparkly. It's a, it's like a Norman, Wa Norman Rockwell Christmas tree. Um, with a, You can see out the window in the back, too, a snowman. It really looks like our sunroom almost exactly, except there's no snowman or kids out the back. Um, but uh, very much that feel, as you see for yourself. Inside it says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, wishing you the brightest joys and happiest celebrations a season can bring. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you for continuing to teach so many kittens how to cat and helping their moms find forever homes. Please give my love to Custard, Eddie, Maggie, Loganberry, and Ari. Love, Stephanie, who is uh, at... Scarlet underscore hotshot. Ah, that's another name I recognize. Thank you. And I like the little kitten stickers that you put inside as well. Uh, that is an adorable card. Like I said, it really looks just like our uh, sunroom. Okay. We have one here from Australia. Oh my goodness. That's come a long way for Christmas. And I assume Christmas. Good. Well, look at that. We got everything in here. Oh, this is like a pop-up ornament thing. Oh, wow. The kittens are going to like that. We'll put that right out here. See, now we've got a little Christmas in here, too. Okay, the note says, Dear Kitten Academy, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. May all your noses be clean, the sun beams bright, and your bed soft and warm. Aww. With much love from Mary, who is Mazimi Z on Discord, and also Apollo and Starbuck. Well, thank you so much, uh, Maz. This is cute letterhead, too, with the little bumblebee and the... Uh, uh, what are these? This, um... Uh, lupins? Is that what I'm thinking? Maybe? I don't know. Some cute little flower. Okay. Um, uh, Mez, thank you very much. Uh, I think the Maggie's going to like that when she discovers it. <laughs> All right. Here we have one from Hawaii. Wow. Okay. I don't put that there. That's going to gonna get lost. I'll put it over here. Okay. Oh, another Christmas tree, but this one is made out of... Um, uh, are they? They're not exactly flags, uh, but they are. There's a globe and a dove, and then uh, various representations of various countries. And oh, oh, inside! Oh, wow! How did you find this? Oh, that's very cute. This is a a, a Bill a Bill Cleveland uh, sticker, um, and it's a cat napple, and it's a cat napping on a pineapple. He's entitled it Cat Napple. That's uh, that's about perfect. <laughs> what do you think? It says thank you. Um, for embracing your weird and wonderful life. Well, I like that. That's a great thought. A season of goodness and peace to you. Merry Christmas, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and all KA people. Hope you are old enough to read cursive. My daughter, who is 32, has trouble with it. 
Here's a sticker that should get you some Christmas kittens. Love for the birds. Aw, thank you uh, for the birds. It is a very cute kitten uh, sticker, I mean. And uh, I notice here it says it is believed that the tradition of tree decorating began in 16th century Germany. All right. Um, yeah, I am old enough to have uh, been taught cursive in school, and also I'm old enough to have been taught typing, not keyboarding, typing on uh, like the IBM Selectric uh, typewriters. And uh, my mom had uh, originally a mechanical typewriter that I loved to hit all the keys at once and watch all the things come up and tangle. My mom did not love that, <laughs> but I thought that was endless fun when I was a kid. Uh, yeah, she later replaced that typewriter with one that had, uh, I can't remember what they were called now, but it was a typewriter that had different fonts, and the way that it would work is there was a ball that would stick on the typewriter head, and it had all the different letters all the way around this ball, and the machine would know how to turn it to the right letter and then hit the page with it when you typed. So you could switch fonts just by taking off that ball and putting on a different one that had all the same letters in the same places but different fonts, which is uh, fancy stuff that I think probably wasn't really a big thing for very long before we just started using computers and printers for everything. Okay, this is super cute, and it says Kitten Academy on it, too. It says Meowy Cat Miss Kitten Academy, and it's got all these kittens in a Christmas tree. And on the inside, it says, Mr. A, here, Maggie, what do you think of this? Mr. A, DJ, faculty, mom, cats, and kittens, thanks for all you do and wishing you a very meowy Chris Catmus from Ghostly One and Billy. Ooh, Ghostly One and Billy. All right, and you've also included what is a picture of, is this Serenity? And this just looks like a Photoshop picture of Serenity. At first, I was going to say, your cat, and then I looked again, and I'm like, wait a minute. I know that blanket. I know that cat. Uh, it could be Ari, though. It's hard for me to tell just from this which one it is, and not just because they look so similar all the time. Custard, stop rubbing on the camera. That's ridiculous. Not just because they look so similar all the time, but because you've photoshopped a beard and a Santa hat on. The beard especially is super great. That is wonderful. Ghostly one and Billy. That's really cute. Hmm. I'm trying to... Can I... See, I, sometimes I can tell if it's Serenity just based on whether she's got a little bit of crust in her right eye. I think it's Serenity, but uh, it's probably Ari. It's great. Either way, it could be either of them. It's fantastic. Okay. Uh, Air Mail. All right. Let's see here. This is probably my Christmas card from... Wait, where is this from? Oh, yeah, Royal Mail, I was going to say. Um, okay. Wow, these are, uh, it's, oh, I see, Merry Christmas. They're Christmas lights, and they spell out Merry Christmas. And inside, it says, to Mr. A and DJ and all the faculty, Merry Christmas. I hope you have a restful, festive period. Best wishes at Fiona. Thank you, at Fiona. That is very sweet. I, too, hope for a restful uh, period to come soon. <laughs> so thank you for that. Very sweet thought. Okay, last card. Uh, this one is from M. Hobbit, it says on the outside, and on the back it is sealed with a sticker that is a uh, um, leopard, and it's a bobcat maybe, and it's, I don't know, it's got spots, and, uh, um, and the face striped. I'm, what am I thinking, ocelot maybe? Too big for that. Okay, whatever, it's a big cat, and it's a little tiny baby, and it's adorable. And then uh, we have a card that is a ink and um, colored pencil maybe of... A whole bunch of woodland creatures stacking fruits and berries in a basket. Stacking fruits and berries from a basket. I see. It's their Christmas. Very cute. Illustration by Barbara Goss. And inside... Oh. May the joy of Christmas be with you now and always. Ooh, thank you. Greetings. Toby, my black and white cat, is bugging me that there are not enough cards and letters on mailbag. I tried to reassure him that with the start of Christmas season, you would surely be getting plenty. But now Sophie, my gray one, is chiming in to quote one of my family sayings back at me, too much is never enough. I figured I should drop you a card to keep the peace around here, but it does leave me wondering, does the quote apply to the number of kittens at K.A.? No matter how many there are, you manage to take care of all of them beautifully. Thank you for all you do for kittens, moms, non-moms, and faculty. Thank you so much, M. Hobbit. And the photo that you've included of your two 
Uh, kittens is super adorable. It's great to see little kittens snuggled up together like that. They must be a lot of fun for you. Um, yeah, okay, that was the last one. This is an empty now. Very cute. Well, I should just stack all these up somewhere and see how, how often the cats destroy them on camera. That would be fun. I think they would mostly just knock them over. All right, that is the letter segment of our show today. But we're not done yet. we got to get through uh, some of this stuff today, too. So, um, I guess... Uh, let's just start with this pile, then. And whatever. Oh, this says right on it, this is from Ginger Cat Lover. Excellent. All right, well, I'm going to need a bigger knife for this. Maybe. Theoretically. <laughs> huh. I guess the, oh, there it is, the green knife. Okay, we got it. That'll do. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, everybody stay in the box. Well, I don't know what this is. Ginger cat lover. It feels like something rolled up. Oh, it's a box. I see. It must have got squeezed a bunch. <laughs> okay. Yep. Let's see if we can get into it. Hi, Ari. You want to help, buddy? Ooh. Oh, I see. Some assembly required. It looks like... Uh, it looks like a fancy version of a princess tent, perhaps. It's got giant wooden dowels, though, instead of, uh, you know, the little plastic tent style. Ooh, that's a cool pattern, too. Oh, everything's falling down. Okay, maybe it's a hammock based on uh, the strings. String. No, that's not big enough for that. Okay. What is... And colored chalk? Oh boy, what is it? I need a cheat sheet. It does look like it's definitely some kind of a tent, um, but yeah, let's open this part. There's also like a slate here that is a tag. And then this must be the body. I can see the bottom of it. Oh, it's like a it's like a teepee, uh, maybe. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, that's big. Look at that. It is like a like a teepee. Oh, and it's uh, I think it's got five sides to it. Also, that's extra cool. So now I see where all the poles go, and the slate, and then this is the bottom. So that's all solved. But then what's these are these must be for writing on the slate. That's exactly what it is. It's three pieces of colored chalk for filling in that slate. Hmm. What an interesting idea to be able to write notes on the uh, on the cat's beds. That's uh, that's going to be fun, I think. Maybe we can put it someplace where DJ will often see it and change what it says. Or uh, maybe you sent it for a reason. I don't think there's a note, but we'll take a second look to make sure. And uh, otherwise, you... Definitely know how to get in touch with me to let me know if you have something specific in mind for us to do with this. Uh, is it possible to fit it back in the box? I do not believe it is. <laughs> I guess it's not going to stop me from trying. Hang on. Okay, squeeze as much as we can. All right, well, that goes in, but now how are we going to get the towels? Because that's as full as it gets. Hey guys, this cat's getting an endowment. <laughs> wow, I need to get some sleep. <laughs> oh, look, I can use this. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Okay, hang on. Take advantage of the fact that it's got a big bag around it. Perfect, though. Well, that's really cool, and that pattern is one. Uh, I'm doing that right in the mic. Okay, you're welcome. Um, that pattern is one that I know DJ is also going to love. It looks like the patterns that she likes to choose for the house. That, uh, the ones that are like, you know, all the rugs upstairs and the ones in the kitchen all have these sort of, I don't know, vaguely Native American patterns. I don't know why I think of them as being that way. It's just kind of a zigzaggy pattern. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for it, though, and, and definitely let me know, uh, again, if there's something in particular for, to be done with it. Otherwise, 
Um, I'm sure we will deploy it in due time. We have a brilliant knife guard here. Wow, that's a, that's a thick one. That's good. Save me from me. And a note right on top, which we like. Oh, now that's cool. Hmm. Oh, please open gifts now. Okay, go. Oh, scratch and sniff stickers. Wow, I haven't seen one of those since I was a kid. Mm, very pine. Wow, that is very pine. It says Merry Christmas and it's a smiling Christmas tree. Scratch and sniff sticker. You want to smell here? Smell that. What do you think, Maggie? Does that smell like something to you? Uh, Custard always does that response where he opens his mouth when he smells something weird. But it looks like he took off. That would be too much fun. Um, let's see. I want DJ to get a chance to check this out. So let's use the letter opener and do it right. Oh, maybe I can take a drink of this coffee too while we're at it. I'm going to need all the caffeine today. I just want to point out because people know that I was uh, up late doing uh, some like personal projects. That's not why I didn't get any sleep. I actually did go to bed. Um, I don't know why I'm trying to defend myself on that. It doesn't matter anyway, does it? So, all right, this is a really cool card. It's like a red and gold color. And it says Christmas wishes with a pine forest. And then inside it pops up wishing you a Merry Christmas in bright gold and Santa Claus uh, and his reindeer flying overhead. And then it says, and a happy new year from Christy, Sheila, Alvin, and Theo. Uh, great. Um, those are, Alvin is a, is a great name. Theo's a good name too. I mean, they're all, what, whatever, they're good names. Okay. So on the back it says, Merry Christmas gift cards and cat toys are for you, DJ faculty, love, Shorty Kitty. Wow. Good with names. All right. Um, this is not going to stand up on its own, I don't think. So let's just see if we can stack the deck a little bit here. There we go. That'll hold it for a minute. Okay, so this is a very cool tunnel that you sent that is a candy cane tunnel. And it's definitely time to just go right ahead and deploy some Christmas stuff, right? Um, it, it's, uh, it's very cool that uh, it curves around like a candy cane, too, and has an end. I think that'll be fun. Oh, and it is, no, it's not open on this end. It's, uh, it does have an end, so that's going to be a place for cats to, oh, but there's an opening right there. <gasps> How cool. Oh, they're going to love that. Look at that. Hmm. That is a fun tunnel. I have not seen one like that before, but it's uh, very Christmassy. Okay, I'm just going to toss it right over there. Perfect for Christmas. And there's more Christmas stuff. Here we have a pet accessory uh, scarf and cap. Those go well together. And definitely can use those for some photo shoots later on. What do you think? Oh, Squall's like, no, not on me. Okay, we could probably do it if we took it off of this, but uh, I do have a giant box of like Christmas uh, stuff, um, costumes and things that we use every Christmas tree decoration. Hopefully I can do a photo shoot soon. Here we have a Whisker City pop-up play cube uh, in a really cool like colors. It's got this, this sort of 80s uh, festive pattern on it. Eh, maybe, maybe later than 80s even. Uh, geometric and then it also says here uh, the, I guess the brand or the the brands Whisker City but it says the title I get bored with humans <laughs> pop-up play cube all right uh, that's cute interactive fun for your cat when your cat's alone or wants to be left alone this is the perfect toy for them they can play on their own satisfying their need to explore hide and seek their own adventure yes well pop-up cubes are excellent cat toys they really are um i i still remember when the first times that people sent them in i thought the cats might not care for them that much it took me a while to deploy one uh, years ago of course and i turned out to be completely wrong because they are always a winner um, the only reason i don't think there's any out right now is that they've all been washed um, we've got kittens that tend to uh, pee in them a little bit or did when they were smaller so i kept washing them and washing them and washing them uh, and I just, I, I think they're all in the storage room right now, but I could just grab some and throw them out any minute. So uh, thank you. That's a really cool one. And I love the colors. They're going to go great with our rugs and stuff. It's a perfect fit for here. So thank you very much. And then this is, wow, a cute little, oh, I, wow. I, somehow I took this off of the box as I was pulling it out. Um, cute little bag with Santa. It says Merry Christmas. And then here... Oh, we've got a bear and a gingerbread man also saying Merry Christmas. All right, I am not going to be thwarted by a box. I can figure out how to open this. I know I can. 
It's got to be easy, right? Okay, there we go. Whoa! Oh, ha, 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 ha. All right. You win. You got me. <laughs> I did not see that coming, but that was very effective. All right. Thank you. Thank you for that little surprise. I like it. It wasn't too shocking, uh, but that's fun for me and for the kittens. They, I think they enjoyed that. Oh, Maggie, I'm sorry. And they're so light. And among the uh, many little things that just popped out, we have a, a chocolate bear. Oh, man, he looks yummy. Uh, and all these really cool stickers. Oh, here's another chocolate bear. They're matched. And these cubes are already getting chewed on. Look at that, little Christmas cubes. That's super cool. These stickers are really cute. And oh man, gift cards, so many gift cards. I would expect one maybe. Uh, but here we've got an entire stack that we will look at in just a moment. Um, let's see, I wanna see the stickers and the gift cards and these two little bears can sit uh, right here. Oh wow, look at that, it's already got teeth marks all the way through. <laughs> he really likes that, she really likes that for some reason. These stickers are adorable. Wow, we got a, a little kitty on a broomstick, a little space kitty. This reminds me of the uh, co cosmic kitty, void kitty. What was the, what was the kitty that uh, was sent in that was handmade? Uh, galaxy kitty, I think, maybe. I can't remember what they were calling it, but it was that dark. Uh, it looked just like this with the little spots and stuff and uh, really pretty. So, okay, uh, we've got a sleeping kitty, a stretching kitty. Uh, ooh, another kitty uh, really stylized in a teacup. Uh, looks like waving a wand or something. No, I think that's just a teaspoon, actually. Okay. Oops, hard to tell. It's the same kitty from the other one, though. You can tell by how the white eyes are. Very distinctive feature. Here we've got a kitty cleaning himself. Here we have Maggie side-eyeing somebody. And a little orange kitty. Those are great stickers to go to my collection. Oh, oh, we can't lose this one. Okay. And then here, wow, a Starbucks gift card, a Target gift card, a Starbucks gift card, a Chewy gift card, and a Target and a Target and a Chewy. Wow, that is a lot of gift cards for these wonderful kittens. Oh, thank you so much. Very generous. And I... I love this. This is great. You know, it wasn't uh, it wasn't like an awful prank. It was just fun for me and everybody. I, I, nice little surprise to wake me up a little this morning. <laughs> Very fun. I guess we'll just toss those around and let the kids uh, play with them as they like. I put the stickers in the box and I meant to put the gift certificates in there, but I don't have a good place to put the stickers right now either. So maybe in the box is the best place. Okay. Oh, there's more. Oh, look at that. There's another sticker that's still in there, and there are three more bears of uh, various colors. Three more chocolate bears in there. Oh, thank you so much. That's so cool. Oh, this is one. He's wearing headphones and playing video games. Very cute. Okay. That's great. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. Uh, here. Make some room here. You confetti. Okay, got Christmas confetti going on. I don't know why I emptied that out like I was going to use it for something, and then I'm not. Okie dokie. We can use this. Oh, he's up on top of all the boxes there. Okay, hey, 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 no need for that. Oh, another sticker. Wow, they're just going to keep turning up now since they got shot all over the room. Okay. Open this side. Cut here. Please read letter first from Wars Blade. And uh, I'm glad to have all the instructions. That makes my job super easy. Read me first. Okay, to read on air. Oh, thank you again. Somebody who's been here before. And it says... Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I am a longtime viewer, but never really post on Discord. I'm trying to remember which mom cat was in residence when I discovered the Academy. I believe it was just before Tiffany showed up. I also introduced my mother to the Academy. She enjoys the close-ups, but only will watch when I am at her house. She accidentally started watching the live stream on her computer and realized she had to stop or else she wouldn't get anything done. It's either that or take a nap. During the crazy pandemic year, I would put the Kitten Academy live stream up during after school work time. 
Several of the students enjoyed it after I informed them no, they were not my kittens. <laughs> also, trying to teach and watch a live stream of a mom cat giving birth at the same time without letting on I'm watching a live stream was a challenge, but I managed it. Thank goodness we were still in masks. <laughs> Please inform all mom cats to not give birth during school hours on the West Coast. Thanks. I know you try to keep out the worms and other critters. Uh, oh, I see. Uh, there might be something uh, surprise in the package. I don't know. We'll find out. I recently started a business and have posted to the arts and crafts section of Discord. I'm sending you one of my pendants as a gift to Dr. DJ for all the hard work she does. I hope she likes it. Thank you, Dr. DJ, the mom cats, and all the kittens for many hours of enjoyment. From Anne, who is Wars Blade. And uh, I guess the shop is stoneandglasswirewrap.etsy.com. That's stone, the letter N, glass, wire, wrap, uh, .etsy.com. Very cool. And Wars Blade. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, oh, I see. There is a poop here. Aha, that's what you're talking about. <laughs> There is a poop. Wow, that's a very uniquely shaped poop. I like it that they didn't just go for the typical emoji poop shape. Uh, that's a little creative, and so are the eyes. Frankly, a little creepy. Uh, I like it. It's just great. This has got tissue paper. You've packed everything in here so nicely. Oh, thank you so much. Let's... Oh! Oh, the worms. Yes, it's all making sense now. This says heartworm, and it's got a little heart on it, so you know that it's true. And it looks like a little heartworm, too. <laughs> that is uh, adorable, question um, mark. It is cute, though. It's very cute. <laughs> a worm toy. That's ridiculous. Okay. Oh, this must be the jewelry. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Uh, I guess I was expecting wire wrap. That makes too much sense, right? But you're very good at this. Look at that. That is some art. So you've got a chain on. That's very thoughtful of you. And then at the bottom, we have this lovely blue stone. Wow. I don't know what that is. Um, and it's like a little, a little. Um, well, I think I've described it just fine the first time. A little cobalt blue, uh, beautiful stone. And then you've done a gold wire wrap. Hi, do you want the chain? A gold wire wrap around it that appears to have little flowers on the front, as you can see. Whoop. Hi, okay, I see you like it a lot, yes, but it's not for you. Look how pretty that is. I know somebody really likes it. Okay, I think I think DJ's also going to like it, though. Oh, oh, too fun. All right, I don't want him to, her to accidentally ruin it, though, before DJ gets it, so. Oh, thank you, that's really pretty. I love that transparent blue. That's just a really pretty little item, and then you've taken it and made it, uh, elevated it. That's the right way to say it. So we're taking it to the next level. Very nicely done. Um, oh, there's more in here, though. I'm stopping to take a sip of my coffee. makes it seem like <laughs> it's a tick. Man, oh, scabies. Oh, my goodness, scabies. Oh, man. Well, how about that? Uh, it's um, another one that is adorably disgusting. Um, hmm. All right. And one more. <laughs> I love that you sent me a box of like uh, weird diseases. We also have a tapeworm. And it said, uh, wow, there's a photo of a tapeworm next to it that does look just like this, except without the eyes and the little bit of hair on top. Um, and then it says one million times actual size. That's good news because if I saw one of these coming around this size, I would be running. Mm -hmm. So the mange actually has a scabies, actually has a picture of a scabies right here as well. And it does look similar to this. They've done a good job. The poop has uh, no picture of poop. Well, can't say I'm disappointed. And the tapeworm does indeed have a stretched out long tapeworm, also a million times uh, actual size. Hmm. Very cool. DJ's going to find these highly amusing. In fact, I'm, I'm tempted to just like run up there and show them to her right now, but it can wait a few minutes. And uh, with that, um, the pendant actually, yeah, actually, I'll put them back in your box. That's the way I think. 
This is lovely, uh, and thank you so much for all of it. And we'll put the, the pendant in there as well. Take all these up to DJ as soon as we're done. Okay, but for now, let's set that aside over here. And the kids can have this extra tissue paper. And let's see here. Oh, it just says Kitten Academy. Okay, I see where that is. Let's see what this could possibly be. Wow, those little microbes and things are very cute. Hmm. What is this? It's all wrapped up. Oh. Hmm. It looks like some pretty jewelry. More jewelry. Um, I gotta find the note, don't I? Don't I? Mr. A, enjoy your gift. I thought this is different and pretty. Be honest, how is the quality? Ratings are good from Jackie. Well, now I'm super intrigued. Jewelry for me. I like that. Uh, someone sent a unicorn um, like pendant and matching bracelet to us once, and I wore it for quite a while, uh, and the cats loved it as a toy. Um, and then uh, I think I actually put on the bracelet the other day. I, I still think they're very cool, and this rainbow thingy, and it's... Uh, so, you know, I, get, I do get into jewelry once in a while. Why not? Wow, this is not bad. Um, it is a keychain, and it's got a beautiful uh, golden... You can see it's a paw print there. But what really makes it pretty is it's got this stone on it that is uh, like a... Well, like an opal or a pearl. It's all shiny, like a CD in various colors. It's, it is a beautiful piece of stone that they have put on it. Uh, and it's also slightly translucent. Oh, that's beautiful when the light comes through. That's very pretty. It's uh, it's very cute. And I, I guess um, by now I've got a collection of little charms and things too, if it doesn't get broken. Somebody's having fun with it already. It's, uh, it's very cute, actually. I think I know exactly where to put it right now, actually. Instead of putting it away, I think I have my car key in my pocket. Yes, and it can always use another little clip on it to keep it from getting lost. That's not going to stay there, though. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, 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 you got me right in the finger. I know you didn't mean to. All right. Perfect. Thank you very much for that. Okay. I do love it. Uh, Jackie, thank you very much. Okay. All right. Well, we can at least get through one half of this. I think there's a lot of stuff over here that would really, well, it all deserves to, to be looked at. We'll just, we'll do what we can here. Okay. Merry Christmas to all at Kitten Academy. Oh, I got a piece of litter or something up there. Merry Christmas to all at Kitten Academy from Secret Santa on behalf of Taco Kitty. Wow, it says three of three. Um, so, from Secret Santa on behalf of Taco Kitty, three of three. Uh, it says Chengu, uh, 15. I don't know what Chengu is. Whoa, it's flashing at me. I feel like I just opened the briefcase in Pulp Fiction. Like, there's all this light inside this box all of a sudden. You do not expect that. Here, let's see if it's going to stay lit for you. Oh, wow. Well, I guess we know what these are then. They are... I see. It's got a button on top to turn it on and off, and this one must have got pressed. They are little tiny uh, flashing light balls. How else to describe them? But it's a whole bunch of them. How fun is that? Oh man, we could have some real fun with this. If I put them like in the middle of a ball track so they don't all go too far right away, then we can turn them all on by bumping their buttons. <laughs> That's a lot of lights right there. It's like, it's like Christmas ornaments that the kitties can play with, huh? Or like police lights. Oh my goodness. All right. Uh, do I need to put an epilepsy warning on the stream? Maybe. Well, it's very cool. All right. Uh, we will... Um, yeah, we're going to play with all those at some point. Taco Kitty. Thank you, Taco Kitty. And thank you... Oh, oh, look at that. They then they turn themselves off after a minute um, and then come back on when you hit them to save the batteries. That's smart. I was a little bit like... That's a... A weird way to do it with this button, but now it makes sense. That's great. <laughs> okay. That is some flashing lights. Oh, ah. 
Oh, I know. I've obviously um, been invited to the police ball. Look, that's the best you're going to get from me today, all right? That's it right there. That's as good as it gets. So uh, <laughs> thank you so much, uh, Taco Kitty and Taco Kitty's Secret Santa. Uh, that's fun, and it was fun to be able to make the police ball pun. All right. Well, let's see. This has a uh, it says the sender is Austria. Uh, like everybody in Austria got together and uh, mailed it. Apparently, <laughs> I think we'll find out once we get in here. It's got a little bit squished, but it did come a long way. Oh, look at that! I nailed it. All right. All right. Well, good. It's all packed in here. Whatever it is. I would normally make like some kind of weird American, like I don't know the difference between Austria and Australia joke, but I just haven't got it this morning. <laughs> so we'll go right to the note. And it says, oh, cute stickers on the note too. Dear, uh, dear Mr. A, dear Dr. DJ, first of all, I want to say thank you. Thank you for all you did and all you do for the better kind of humanity. I sent you a little parcel with a few things for you and the cats. Some Austrian food for you and some treats and toys for the cats. Oh, wow, that sounds fun. Okay. The big bag... <laughs> okay, wish me luck here. I'm going in. The big bag contains Kaiser Schmarron. Kaiser Schmarron? Yeah, no, sure. That sounds good to me. Why not? Uh, Kaiser Schmarron, an Aust Austrian dessert. I tried to translate the recipe, hopefully correct. The little chocolate figures are Niklas and Krampus, which we celebrate on the 5th and 6th December. The jam is red currant and currant, currant, uh, currant, and cherries, homemade. Wow, not from me, though. It I hope it suits your taste. It sounds like it really would. Um, yeah, oh, thank you. I watch and follow Kitten Academy since Toffee, wow, did his shaka shaka. I loved it right away and so kept watching the live stream. Uh, since two years, I'm a member of Discord Chat 2, and I don't regret it at all. I love seeing innocent and playful kittens forgetting my own problems while watching them. We wish you all the best. Keep doing your great work. Petra from Austria, and also Gizmo the Troublemaker, and Gina the Old Lady, who's fine and healthy again. Thank you. Aw. P.S. I wrote this letter on the PC so you can read it better. Well, that's kind of you. Uh, thank you so much. All right, let's see what we are for humans oh look at that you've labeled the bags very smart you just never know what i might do so this says oni palmo mm -mm. uh verbesti respetur res res respetur hmm? i tried uh that sounds like a brand name maybe no it's a quote it's saying something at me from the way it's written and also over here it says the original blashki coco scuffle <laughs> blashki coco scuffle all right, I don't know what that means. Since 1921, it does look like a coconut. Um, uh, I was going to say macaroon, but it's it's more like a coconut. Um, all right, well, no, we'll go meringue. That's the word I was going to look for. Like it looks like a coconut meringue on top of uh, some kind of a cookie, and there's a middle layer I can't identify, and then it's coated or dipped in chocolate. That is a very complicated cookie. I like it. Okay. And then over here. Oh, so much more. We have, oh, hazelnut wafers. Original. It says original Neapolitaner. Wow. Manor. Manor brand. Hmm. Well, I love hazelnut and chocolate, and uh, DJ loves little wafer cookies like this. Uh, so I think those are perfect for both of us. Oh, this is the jam. Oh my goodness, this looks delicious. I'm so tempted to just open it and stick my finger in there right now and try it, but I'm going to restrain myself, okay? Nobody wants to see that. This is cute. They are chocolate, uh, like you said, characters, and we have Niccolo and Krampus, and uh, yeah, indeed, it's like a little, um, uh, I don't know, almost a, a, like a religious figure, and then like a devil figure. Is how I would describe them if I didn't know that they were uh, Christmas, and it's the same brand as these little things, as you can tell. And then one more. Uh, oh, this is what you were talking about. Oh my goodness, 
Kaiserschmarrn, seven uh, minute uh, something. So, oh, 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 good. There are, okay, I was going to say. So that's why you said you had to translate the instruction. These are cookies that I'm going to make. Fantastic. Uh, let's see. Water, yes. Contents of the bag. Uh, butter in a pan. Bake. Wow. Uh, quarter the dough and turn it again and bake another. Wow. Cut in little pieces. Bake again. Best served with applesauce. I have absolutely no idea what to expect from this. Um, honestly, I don't even know what these fruits are that look like plums on them. Maybe they are some kind of plum, but uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's probably something I should be familiar with at sight, or maybe it's just a long plum. Uh, so I'm excited to find out what that's all about. All right, you also sent a bag that is oh, surely labeled for the kitties. I'm trying to get the open end so not everything falls out. Yes, it says four cats, but I got the wrong end, and even though I tried. We have Mia Moore Drink Fine Vital Drink uh, Mit Hoon. Uh, I should be able to guess what that is, but I can't. And it's got a weird, a weird photo of a kitty drinking this soup. Uh, it's weird because the kitty's got his head turned, so it looks like we're looking down on him, but the bowl is at a different angle, and the uh, stuff being poured into it is at a, yet another angle. It is, uh, it's it's, it's kind of like it was almost made to like throw you off. Okay, this is Milky's Cat Snack. Hey, that one was very easy for me to read. Um, that's That's pretty much all it says. And then we have... Activa Classic Kissin. Oh, well, I don't know what Kissin means uh, in your language, but I do know Kissin Kittens is what I do, so that's fine with me. And then we have Trixie Spielzug, <laughs> which uh, I've seen that word before about cat toys. I would just assume that that's... Oh, look, it's translated into uh, all the different languages here, except, of course... Oh, it is English. Toy. Okay, that's what I was going to say. Toy. So, awesome. And they're going to like that too. A big blue heart. I know uh, someone who might appreciate having a heart to play with. In fact, as I was downstairs picking up the endowments for these kittens today, I found two red um, Yao catnip hearts that someone... Hit. Oh, uh, um, thank you again. I just, before I move on, I want to say thank you again to Petra. Um, I found two uh, Yao catnip bright red hearts, and I put one in my pocket, and I brought it up, and I gave it uh, to DJ to give to Teaspoon. I said, I think maybe he can use this. So I thought I was being funny, um, I guess. <sighs> All right, uh, this is some really cool stuff. I love trying stuff that is new to me, and uh, this is certainly new to me. And uh, these cookies, too, are going to be super new to me. And, hey, I can try all this, too. I never have before. I mean, I don't think I'm going to, but... It does fit the description. <laughs> All right, how do I... Well, we'll figure it out. Okay, cat stuff, we'll put it right there for the moment. And we got this, that's cat stuff. Okay, and this is, I think, now... Let's make sure I didn't leave anything in any of these boxes. Nope, good there. Oh, and these are the diseases. Okay, that's where we can put everything else. That's the box I think I was looking for. <laughs> Actually, this one's got to stay down here, and the rest of this can go upstairs. Oh, this has got to stay down here, too. Okay. There. Okay. Moving right along. This is addressed to Kitten Academy mailbag, and it weighs a ton. So I think I know what's going to be in here. Let's find out. Ooh. Oh, oh well, it wasn't the thing that weighs a lot that I expected, but it is very close. It says, This be one at a time seller. Wow, use as you see fit from ShareBear. Thank you, ShareBear. Yeah, we ran into a weird issue a couple weeks ago, I guess it's been now on Amazon where they would only let us order a limited number of boxy cat at once. Oh man, I've got to ramble about this too, but I, I don't know if we have time for all that. Um, I'll tell it as fast as I can. Um, so anyway, Amazon would only let us order four bags of boxy cat. So I ordered four bags of boxy cat and then I went immediately over to Chewy and ordered the rest of however much we need. 
and got it, no problem. But and then I was telling the story to people how weird I thought it was that Amazon cuts you off after four and it won't even let me play, buy four in two separate orders. Like it, it just four, you're done. That's it. Um, I'm sure that was just like a limited time thing or something. I have no idea. I haven't tried again because DJ uh, heard my story and immediately went online and bought her four boxy cat and had them delivered here as well. And I can see Share Bear, thank you very much for adding to it as well. So the day that all the boxy cat came in at once, um, I looked on the front porch and it was a disaster. I mean, these things are not easy to ship. They're very heavy. I can't believe yours came through in this nice box. That's why I thought it was food because the, typically these boxes get destroyed. And our front porch had, you know, like eight of these giant boxes and they were just torn up, like wrecked all over. It was just awful. Like somebody was so mad. I thought my, my initial thought when I saw it was the delivery guy was so mad about these. He just threw them out of the thing right onto the porch and they just exploded all over the The boxes, the bags were actually all intact though, which is unusual. Normally they're leaking inside there, uh, even when it seems like they've taken a lot of care with it. And this time they were all perfectly intact like this. So I'm like, I don't get it. The guy seems really angry. And uh, then I noticed that there were two giant boxes there that weren't for us at all. Um, they were for not even neighbors. They, they had addresses on them that I did not recognize. I don't know, in my town, but not anywhere on this street. And that's pretty much all I know of this town. So, um, so first off, I contacted Amazon and I said, you guys drop these big boxes off here. They're not for us. Um, can you send somebody by to pick them up and get them delivered to the right person? They said, yeah, we'll do that. And then I went and I looked at our security cameras because I wanted to see what happened with those boxes and it broke my heart it really did because here i am thinking oh man this guy is such a jerk like throwing these things and making just a disaster out of this delivery on my front porch and that wasn't what happened at all uh, when i got to the security camera footage of it he pulls up and first off he very carefully takes these two packages out that are the ones that weren't for me and sets them aside like next to his truck so he can get to all the litter so that's what happened there is he set it aside and then when he left, he forgot that he'd done that and just left them there and drove off. So that was sad. But then the other thing that I saw is he's taking each of these heavy boxes of kitty litter and they're already wrecked when he takes them off of the truck. So he wasn't the one that wrecked them, but he's so careful to make sure, even though the box is, it's basically like open, like it's just a piece of cardboard wrapped around a 30 pound bag at this point. Uh, but he's very carefully taking each one and setting it as gently as he can right on the porch, just in, in as, as nice a stack as he can make with all of this garbage that's in his truck. Uh, and then, like I said, he, uh, after he very carefully stacks everything, he got in his truck and drove off and forgot about those two boxes. And uh, I have never given a review to an Amazon delivery before, but I felt so bad. I, I went on and when I saw that they let you give reviews to them, I gave him five stars and they said he was delivered with great care. Uh, and hopefully that'll make up for the fact that he's surely going to get dinged for having left those boxes, especially because the end of the week got here and the boxes were still there. So I reached out to Amazon again and I said, hey, um, those boxes, you know, they're, they're still here. Uh, maybe you can send somebody by to pick them up. They're just sitting out on my front porch. It's freezing. I'm not going to be responsible for them if, you know, somebody decides to take them that isn't your guy. So uh, maybe you can send somebody over to pick them up. And they said at that, that point, uh, they weren't going to send anybody over. And if I didn't want them, I could just throw them away. And I, I pushed back. I was like, are you sure? You know, what about the people this stuff was for? Did they already get their stuff? They're like, yeah, we've already sent out new stuff to the people this was for. We're not going to send anybody by to pick it up. It, again, if you don't want it, you're welcome to throw it in the garbage. Uh, just throw this out for us. So I did not do that. Um, I actually did open them and find out what was inside. And maybe we can get to that later because what we have here is... Part one of three, so these are the other two parts of the Secret Santa, uh, and I think they're both these, right? Aw. It says, uh, part one of three, enjoy your gift, doubloons and farthing. May your new family appreciate how special you are. Stay happy and healthy. Keep on purring. Um, and um, I, there actually there's a name here, though. so maybe this is not the Secret Santa. Maybe this is a completely unrelated one and two of three, or maybe you put your name there and I'm supposed to read it even though you are the Secret Santa. I don't know. Um, but it does say, enjoy your gift, doubloons and farthing, you will be missed. From Breezy Melody 1, 
uh, because you put your name there, I'm going to say it. Breezy Melody one. I don't know. Maybe this is unrelated one, two, and three. But look at that. We've got one that's uh, like, oh, they're both rainbows. They've just got a slightly different uh, sort of rainbow pattern on them. They're two little hedgehogs. I love hedgehogs. And they've got little rattles in them. So they make some noises. Uh, super cute. And I've stacked all of the endowments for these kitties already by the front door. I don't want to have this end up in another pile. So I'm just going to put them over there. Right meow. Perfect timing. That's perfect timing on that. Okay, I really want to see what's going on in some of this pile too. So even though we've got one more over there that is addressed to Mr. T Q Tensils Jansen, I see. Mr. Teaspoon now has our last name. Uh, wow, everybody's got an agenda. Um, okay, well, this is addressed to me and it says, oh, it says on it, Mr. A and DJ, I wanted to get something special for you both. Enjoy. Uh, GA girl, Georgia girl, thank you so much. I, I think that you and uh, so many people have already gotten us too much that is special. Uh, I think just uh, hanging out with us on the Discord is what's most special to me in that sense. And, and you've got that in spades. But uh, wow, you sent some Harry and David. Ooh, Harry and David coffee sampler. I did not... I don't think I was even really aware that they uh, had coffees. I guess I was, maybe, because that's the kind of thing that comes in their gift bags sometimes. Oh, there's some cool flavors in here, too. We have a caramel pecan chocolate raspberry northwest blend, butterscotch caramel, a vanilla creme brulee, and chocolate cherry decadence. Wow. I'm going to enjoy trying those out. Uh, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Um, I think that's it. I just want to make sure that's a great box. That's a great box for the kitties to play in, too, with all that paper. We'll see if it attracts anybody before we are done here. Uh, this, is, this is wonderful, and these look like a great size to use in the French press, uh, which I, I love to uh, do my coffee in, especially when like I'm in a hurry and I don't want to take the time to do all the espresso stuff. Uh, the French press is such a convenience. Okay. Um, Boy, it looks like whatever we open next. Um, let's see, what time is it here? I don't want to get too far gone on it. Have we already gone over? No, look at that, right on time. Okay, let's let's keep going a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's see. This one's got some cool stickers on it. Yep. I just want this t pile to be a little shorter. <laughs> uh, oh, there's minion stickers on top and kitties wearing Christmas hats and whoa. Oh, Squall's got a little pith ball. Oh, that's the ball from the unicorn shooter. Okay. Uh, yeah, kitty stickers. Okay, on every side. And I've lost my knife again because... Oh, there it is. That's what I do. Okay. So, thank you for the litter. Uh, here, and I was going to finish that story about what was in the box. Oh, but now we got to look at what's in this box. Okay. Says. Oh, look at that, a card right on top. This is this is well put together so that I can see things in order. It says, Merry Christmas. And it's uh, got an envelope with little uh, snowflakes <laughs> and an adorable looking long hair cat wearing a scarf and hat set, sort of like the one that we just got. It says, to Mr. A. Cats, Dr. DJ Kittens, may your Christmas be meowy and bright. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's with uh, very cute stickers inside as well. Happy New Year's to all. Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, cats, kittens, I hope everyone is doing good. I am sending you a box with my homemade blankets, donuts, toys, little catnip pillows, toys, and tissue paper. Enjoy. I hope you all have a great holiday. Merry Christmas, everyone. And Happy New Year's to all from Margie. Uh, I know this box is right in between me and all of you. Uh, I just, I'm running out of space over here. Okay, let's slide it to the side at least, all right? There we go. We don't need to have this wall of separation. Uh, so, Margie, thank you so much. I think, yes, this is what I thought you might be describing. I actually just grabbed some of these out of the last bag that you sent to put into the endowments today. So, I was just looking at these. Um, this is a, oh, this is a stocking, and it's filled full of cat toys. 
I like that you've taped it so that they don't all fall out. That was smart. Okay. And it's got, wow, big Mylar balls. We'll put this next to the Christmas tree. It's got cat kickers in here. And I see toys all the way down. They are going to love that. Okay, let's just set it right there with everything still in it for them to have fun. Look at all of these crocheted um, little catnip pillows. Like I said, you've sent these before and they're wonderful. We have the donut toys, which uh, some of you might know from me trying to put them always on the kitten's heads. Uh, and you can see they're just like stringy things with a little round bit. Cats do like them. And cats do look good in them. It's good cat fashion. This tree's in the way though. Hi, what do you think? Oh, you want to get it? You want to get it, huh? Okay, okay, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> These are great. Uh, also, like I said, for endowments, uh, I just, I, I like, it's just thrown some into the endowments there. Oh wow, even more! Wow, you've been busy. All right, these will keep us going for endowments for a while. Uh, and you've included some bonus tissue paper for our next tissue pit in some cool designs, including a happy birthday one. And there's, uh, there's even more cool uh, tissue in here. Look at that. Trees on trees. And yes, just like last time also, you've included all of these blankets you've made. Oh, they're lovely. And each one with a matching toy. This is, uh, we've got this lovely pinks and lavenders with the gray in there. We've got, um, this is uh, blues and lavenders and pinks. I see kind of working from the same palette, but in different proportions. Uh, this one is, oh, it almost looks like little cloud bands, doesn't it? Little bands of little fluffy clouds. Happy little clouds, Bob Ross might say. Okay. I mean, yeah, okay. That's a joke I don't need to make. Uh, <laughs> here we have, uh, again, we got lavenders and grays. I love that pink and the white and the gray together. That actually it really works well. Um, this is more of a sea foam kind of a, a palette here. We got the blues and greens and a little bit of this brown to set it off. And well, there's so many of these. These are great. Uh, we've got again, a, this one's mixing those browns with the pinks and the grays. And we've got a blue and gray here. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. And that one's extra floofy too. I think he, I see. Hmm. Must be the way you did it. It's like super thick. And then one more all the way down here. Uh, another that's blue and it's got these greens in it and uh, very oceanic. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to put those back in the box because there's so many of them. And then we can bring the whole thing down like that. Uh, and the new donut toys. Oh my goodness, those are fantastic too. Really great. Um, uh, it's uh, It's... No, that's not the right note. I wanted to find the right note so I could make sure I got the right name again. And now I've said it somewhere that I don't know which one it was anymore. I feel terrible. Uh, thank you, though. Thank you. Um, and I know you've sent these before plenty of times because, as I was saying, we were just handing some out. Okay, don't get into the stocking yet. Just play with that toy. All right. Okay. Gosh, I really do want to keep going, but I hope uh, you guys will be okay if we uh, sort of call it there. I think it's a good point to wrap up. We've got like four boxes left. We can add those to the beginning tomorrow, and uh, we'll just push right through tomorrow as much as we can. But for now, I want to get all this stuff put away. I have to run to the post office during the busiest time of day uh, to collect the mail so we can do tomorrow at all. And then I have to get back here for that adoption that's happening uh, shortly thereafter. Uh, like around one o'clock, uh, if I didn't already say. Uh, I don't know if they're going to want to be on camera or not. You know, I always ask them, and it's it's really uh, you know sort of a uh, you know whatever they want to go with. It's all about making the the adopters comfortable here. They are the people that uh, really let us keep doing this at all. So that uh, counts for quite a bit. Oh, Margie, yes, Margie. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put your card in with these, so I re I remember that. Okay. Let's see, uh, I guess I'll put the Kiss and Kitty treats in there too so that I can bring them upstairs and give some to some kittens. 
All right. Uh, again, uh, thank thank you everybody for everything, and we will pick this up tomorrow at eleven o'clock, un unless you know uh, we have some more issues, <clears throat> which uh, in which case I'll be sure to, to put a note on the stream. You know, it, it plays our. Some of you may not even know that uh, every 15 minutes, if there is any news to be concerned about, uh, we run a little scroll on the stream like every 15 minutes on the hour. So on the hour, 15 after, half past, 45, uh, there will be a news scroll that comes up if there... Oh, you're chewing through the bottom of the litter bag. Oh, and it got here perfectly intact. And now it's going to leak litter. Oh boy. Well, I had to. I had to put it. Uh, you know, they need a new litter box anyway, so I can just go ahead and uh, use this right up. Uh, I will. I will do that. Um, yeah. Okay. We got to do all this. I'm going to shut off this mic. I'm going to switch to the regular mic, and that way, um, I don't make all kinds of noise at all of you. You're on the regular mic now. Probably doesn't sound quite as good. DJ right now. <laughs> I guess these I'm just going to slide back here in the corner. Slide it on over. Okay. 
Yeah. Oh no, falling over. Okay. Um. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that's fine. I think we can put this tissue paper in the candy cane. What are you playing with in here, kids? I hear you playing. in front of the mirror, buddy? <clears throat> this all has to go downstairs, even if it's not all going to the same place. Two, this two. Let's see how much we can bring down all at once. You want the jam? What are you doing rubbing on that, huh? Man, there were a couple more packages back here than I realized. Also, a second package addressed to Mr. T. Utensils Jansen. Hmm. I took the, the scratch and sniff sticker, actually I took the entire like flap of the envelope and <clears throat> put it on the fridge with some magnets so when DJ sees it she can smell it. Uh, but I was just, uh, had Mad Max Fury Road on last night while I was working out. <clears throat> and so it says smell me and I keep, I keep hearing it like when the... the uh, uh, what do they call it? The drivers, the uh, something uh, boys. Uh, anyway, when they uh, witness me, and they paint their mouths with chrome, and uh, I don't even have the sound on when I watch it. It just makes great visuals <laughs> for some music and working out. That's oh wow, you are strong. That's the 16 pounds of kitty litter, and she just lifted it twice with her mouth. And that's the heavy end. Wow, she's still very squishy for being so strong.
Oh, yeah, these have to go down too. Oh, I think I missed a letter too. Huh. The one that I was looking forward to because I recognized the name on it. Well, we'll have some extra. Ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, now that's far enough. Uh, let me go get a little box. Write me a box. Try it out loud, I see. Uh, when we had all those poop issues earlier with these classes, that, I mean, they're all over now, by the way. I switched to using temporary litter boxes for a while, so I could just throw them away and put down others. I never would think that a cardboard temporary box could work. Um, these are actually really nice and work very well, and uh, they don't like leak. And the cats don't mind using them. They do. Uh, they say that you can like put two of them together to make one with a lid. I've done that once. It's very awkward. It doesn't work that way, but as trays, they're perfect. All right, buddy. I'm gonna finish the job you started. Why you kids are playing with the litter? You're too old for that. Yes, somebody's gonna have to use that right now before I can put it where it belongs, huh? Oh, everybody's gonna have to use it. What? Do you, do you think there was something underneath it? He looks like he's. She looks like she's digging for something. She's very serious about this work. <laughs> Uh-oh, that's going to be a use. All right, we don't need this, kids. Can I, uh, can I scoot you on down to where the litter box belongs, maybe? Huh? All right, you can go on the run out here. Oh, don't fall over, though. Stop eating that, Willie. Give me a chance to clean it up, bud. Yeah, it be the closest room in the garage. Yeah, but move, 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 move. That comes right up. That's pretty nice. I'm still going to have to get that vacuum to finish the job.
You proud of yourself? Well, I think that's it. I think that was mailbag, everybody. So, uh, thank you all once again for everything. The cards, oh, the cat stuff, especially the cat stuff. Uh, I know they really appreciate it. The wonderful endowments. And you guys take wonderful care of these cats. And of uh, DJ and I, too. Um, you know, I don't... I don't know that we need it as much as the cats do, but I, I appreciate it nonetheless. Thank you for that. And I'm really excited to eat too much chocolate. <laughs> so, uh, okay, we'll see you tomorrow at 11 o'clock, unless, like I said, uh, I have to put a message up and let you know that's not going to happen, in which case I will. But the plan is uh, for 11 o'clock tomorrow, and my plan now is to go spend an eternity at the post office and then get a couple kittens adopted out. Did, Bl did, did Bloom show up at all during mailbag? She must be upstairs with DJ. She was like extra double snuggly this morning. She was uh, just going nuts, trying to get snuggles and purrs in. She's gonna be so great. It was almost a little sad though, like she, like almost like she knew that uh, she had to say goodbye. All right, that's too much. I don't want to. I'm not like that. Okay. So, oh, the green knife. That's gotta get put away. Thank you so much to everybody for everything. I'm gonna wrap up the archive right here, and we will see you probably, hopefully, almost definitely tomorrow. Where is that button? Button, button. So many buttons, none of them the right one.